So you're targeted. You guys got to understand, all right? Yeah, you're a victim. You're not, you know, you don't have any guiltiness to you, all right? Maybe you've done something wrong or everybody's done something wrong before. You know, you've done something bad. I've done, I've probably done a couple messed up things, but nothing in the name of doing it on purpose. That's been my defense. I've never done anything on purpose. So when it comes down to like the, the crimes of which you may think you're being com uh, committed on, first of all, the thoughts being put into your head. I mean, using technology, that, that much is simple. That That's an easy thing. People get set up every single day from the DOJ, all right? Because if they didn't, they wouldn't have jobs. They're jobless people. They're, they're people that don't deserve half the things they have in life because they believe they're qualified to have it. That's the weird thing about the Department of Justice. The second thing is that what they do to Americans needs to be addressed because it's an act of war on its own citizens. So this demonstrates that there is a violent force at work um, that's essentially running the things around you. So instead of treating what they're doing, sitting down, you have to treat it like an act of war. You need to be smart, okay? These are people that obviously are working for these perverted departments of whatever they want to call themselves because they think they have the legal audacity to do it because that's what they're doing in the name of national defense and security. It's always national security. I have a book about this. I wrote an entire book. I'm a homeless person. Why would a homeless person be able to write a whole book about this? I wonder why. I wonder why. So basically, uh, the only way you're ever going to really see any limelight is first of all, you're going to have to realize you're not just a victim, but you're also a prisoner of war because this is an act of war. It's a war crime. It is a war crime to utilize technology to mess with your own citizens is an act of war. When the DOJ was caught for their their crimes during the Frank Church hearings, it should have been noted that that was an act of war and the CIA should have been dismantled at, at that point. The FBI and the CIA should have been dismantled at that point. When people saw exactly what was going on from the Frank Church hearings, why did we allow those agencies to conduct what they were doing when they've been found caught guilty, by the way, numerous times of wiretapping, of using this type of scandalous behavior on its own citizens, on uh, foreign citizens, whether innocent or guilty, it doesn't matter. Justifying its use only creates the perception that it's a necessary tool, a necessary evil. Absolutely not. Until the American people are willing to accept that necessary evil is no longer necessary, we will continue to deal with this. So in part, with these technologies, this act of war, every person that essentially follows you, it is an act of war. Every time there was sabotage, gaslighting, these techniques that are utilized to transfer over into a computer because people are being paid to do the very thing you're being harassed with, it's an act of war. So every time that these people are essentially doing what they're doing and you have that suspicion that things aren't right, well, hey buddy, you know, you ever seen a nun walking into a gun store to purchase an AR-15? That's what you're witnessing. These people are pretending to be good. They're not good. They're doing evil things. They always do evil things. Why do you think this is so intermittent with the occult? Why do you think that the 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 brotherhood works so well with the, the Mormons, the bald-headed jerks that are probably following you around all the time in secrecy? Because they're using these technologies. They are defining themselves as the order. They're saying we are the bigger power. They're the mental ones. They're literally psychologically damaged. Every time they have more kids and they're messed up families, it's like an act of war because they're having children when they're clearly creating violence against Americans. Clearly. I mean, just because you don't pull a trigger doesn't necessarily mean you're off the hook. All right. So just because people can't see technologies that science scientists aren't coming out about what do you think that says? The enemy has hidden technology. The enemy has something that may be forbidden. They're enemies. They're not your friends. They're not there to help you out. All right? Just because you might have demons because that's what's being expected out of you from the spiritual plane doesn't mean its manifestation here is anything natural or good.
So you have to treat it like it's a war. It's a war. It is a war against your mind. It's a war against what you consider to be right, what you consider to be your virtues. This is an act of war. And it's insane that people in the Department of Defense actually have no, they don't want to accept that. It's insane. This, the same thing with the Department of Justice. Anybody that works with them, they should understand that they're committing an act of war. It's in, in, in not only that, but it's an aggravated act of war. So, okay, put it this way. Let's say, all right, let me say it like this. Say somebody, you were paid to stalk somebody. If you were paid by the government to stalk somebody for national security, but you can't figure out exactly who you're working for, that's an act of war. You don't know your enemy. You don't know if you're working for the enemy. And that's what these people do. They don't know they're working for the enemy because they're in dispositions. They're at like a, a point in their life where they're in completely impoverished and are taking whatever they can because they made the system to the point where normal people actually have to do this to make money because they don't know what else to do. And they only take orders from their upper people, which are the Department of Defense and the Department of Justice. So it's an act of war. It is an act of war on its own people. But they don't they're not the ones running you. They're not they're not the ones running you at all. Normal citizens in this country have independent power. Just like what you should understand as a human being, you have plenty of power within your disposal. How you go about actually utilizing it is a completely different thing. So you have to do this with knowledge. You have to do this with research. These people that do this, that literally take government money because they're being nickel and dimed, are completely stupid and don't do research. They're more fixated on their weed. They're more fixated on their cigarettes. They're more fixated on their alcohol. They're more fixated on their food, earthly desire. So because they're so fixated on this, they're being used as prisoners of war to attack the prisoners of war. You see what I'm saying? Why I said it's kind of like a Hunger Games situation. Some of these people would be in line with you because maybe they would secretly agree with everything you say, but they have a job to do. Well, if you are in a war, okay, and you're being forced as a prisoner to point guns at who you used to be allied with, you're being intimidated by the enemy to kill who is supposed to be that enemy. So the enemy of my enemy is my friend. You ever heard that saying? They use that in the same way we have to use that. We have friends in those higher places. They have friends in the lower places, and it's a war. So again, until people start seeing that what they're doing is an act of war, you guys will constantly paint yourselves to be victims. You'll, you'll, you know, and we all have very similar stories. We like there's too much. There's too much evidence saying yes, we are victims, but. There's enough evidence to also say, hey, America, you are committing an act of war on your own people. This is starting to give justification on violent action, on violent reaction. You can't use that in a court system. Imagine if all these people actually came up. Let's say you go, one of us got indicted for a crime. What if we all just showed up and said, no, that person, that person's a victim of an act of war committed by the American government. They're in trouble. They're in serious trouble. That's the one thing that would really blow this whole thing off. So people that contract for the DOD, the Department of Dick Suckers, the Department of Injustice, uh, people that operate within these, complete idiots. They commit acts of war every single day. Everything that they do, everything they do, the beds they sleep on, the things they buy with that money, it's dirty money. So everything they do, all the food they eat, the toxic food, all the alcohol they buy, all the friends they make from that point on is an act of war. Every time they're they're buying into this bullshit is an act of war, like every single time. So if you if somehow you got your gang stalkers in on this and you said, hey, you know, like I saw that you literally walked down the street to follow me. That's an act of war. Um, I saw that, you know, you were checking my phone records. That's an act of war. They would have to go to jail for the rest of their life because it's an act of war. It is violence. It might not even seem that way. Like, oh, you'd think, well, they're driving around and trying to watch you and, and all that shit. That's an act of war. I mean, it, it doesn't matter how you try to justify it. If you're working for people that are obviously working against its own people and you're being bought and paid for and you're not even seeing like the line because you don't want to because you're ignorant, you don't realize that you're being used as a pawn in a war. And that's the, again, the ignorance problem, the ignorance situation that's happening right now. It, it's, 
acts of war are committed daily by thousands and thousands and thousands of Americans who actually believe they're doing something in the name of national security, when in reality, it's nothing like that. There's no such, there's, there's no such thing as national security. There's, that was a made up term in the 50s in order to create a bigger federal government. Why do you think the Department of Defense has an existence? Why do you think they need something? They need it. They need something. Always needing war. But when you perpetuate the cycle of war and you quiet the, the quote, targeted individuals, you guys only want the machine to keep lasting when it's clear that this machine is bleeding to death. You know, so every day that you, you stay ignorant, it's an act of war because you're killing your own people in this country. So until you guys actually realize that you're not victims, you're prisoners of war, you'll start to actually change your narrative a bit because who, who in their right mind, imagine you had like a laser gun that, that could actually make somebody depressed when you fire it. Would you consider that an act of war? I would. That's a weapon. That's, that is a psychotronic, psychological weapon. That is a weapon. But you don't see it that way. So the people that naysay and criticize say this technology doesn't exist. We had cell phones in the 60s. We had microphones that were the size of olives. How the hell can you say that some type of technology that could hit your brain waves and change how you think as a human being that has vibration or energy, everything on this planet's energy, how can you actually say that that technology doesn't exist? How can you say music doesn't have an influence on people? See, the ignorance is this clear. What do you think plays on popular radio? You think my music's being played? Like all the music that's about how military people were mind controlled in the 60s and drugs were used to fuel the hippie era and this this was used to paint the whole world in ignorance and like this were the results of all of this and were like mutated hybrids. How much more stupid do people need to get before they start realizing like, oh wow, this is an act of war. And you're, you're kind of kept like passive forever using like soy ingredients, using certain music that sort of made certain drugs, you know, you're supposed to be kept passive. So they're like fire this stuff at you constantly, constantly, constantly. You guys know you're being harassed using sound waves. You know, you're being harassed using low vibration frequencies, you know, um, as it, as it's called what Brian two calls it, it's essentially a supercomputer that fires off this stuff it forces these situations and once they have your spot try to think there's a satellite out there that fires waves at you they fire a beam of neurons at you that's why you get microwaved that's why you suddenly feel weird that's why all of a sudden you just start having headaches you know when your when your bio signature is actually captured and people know what that is they get affected and these are the like the ignorant idiots that actually do this stuff for the government that get contracted to actually work for the government to harass people are actually allowing this to happen. They're not, they're being provocators. You know, they, they've switched, they flip because they don't have a moral compass. You think they're going to be going anywhere in heaven? Absolutely not. But instead of being a real hero, like they're already a bad guy and don't do anything for real people. They're just buying into this, this bullshit. They're literally buying into it. Like, it would be awesome if we actually had these people come out, say, yes, yes, we are gang stalking people and we're going to fight the government. What if we actually did that and we could flip them to the point where it's like, yeah, notice that you're committing acts of war. You're committing acts of treason on the very con country that you probably signed up service for. You did selective service, you know, <laughs> and now you're doing your service. You're doing your part. Yeah, doing your part for the country and causing how many suicides? How many of your vets are dying, by the way? How many homeless vets are dying every day from suicide? And this is the stuff you don't hear about. No, 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 no. They're going to harass the conscientious objector because some asshole on the streets getting nickel and dime to suck Uncle Sam's dick to harass you as a victim, as a survivor, as a prisoner of war. That's why you can't get anywhere. You're a prisoner. You're a prisoner in your own homes, in your own cars, in your own job, in your own existence. And people think this is bullshit, by the way. People actually think this isn't happening. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, MK Ultra didn't happen either, even though there's unclassified documents regarding everything on this, on the CIA's own website, by the way. And they also stated that they used it on people knowingly and unknowingly and their own veterans. And you're going to trust the DOJ? You're going to trust the DOD? Come on, man. This is what I mean. When people stop taking a stand, you're going to get prisoners everywhere. Everyone, everyone's going to, you don't have to be in an actual prison. You could be outside. It's probably better being in their prisons than out here. Cause at least there, something's more systematic here. It's like you're surviving it, it, and it's like, you're not sure what the next day holds, you know, at least in a prison, you know, if somebody's going to either stab you or if you're going to have your meal stolen or when the alarm goes off to wake you up, there's no, there's nothing you can do at that point. So if, and, and nothing will change. None of this will change until people see this as an act of war. You know, so that's kind of what people have to be very objective about is, hey, yes, this is happening. This is an act of war. People that are in line with the people that are harassing and attacking people psychologically are involved in it. And the, the victims are survivors that still are dealing with the program to this day. It's still happening. Just because the CIA did it once doesn't mean they'll do it again, right? No, the CIA and the FBI have done the same crimes of against humanity multiple times. They've done it multiple times. Multiple. I mean, like, imagine if somebody murdered a bunch of people, went to jail, and, like, went to the mental asylum. Then they got out of jail for whatever reason 25 years down the road, and they could they had the ability to purchase a gun, right? You think that's nuts? That's what we give the CIA the ability to do. Like 25 years, oh, a slap on the wrist. Okay, we get to use this technology. There's nothing in the legal law that says we can't do it. Yay. It, it, that's, that's some faggy shit, man. I mean, like, that. that is that is some literal, like, childish attitude. Like, that 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 right there is, like, the, the proof of incompetence that if we allow the same criminal to do the same thing, or, or even let them have the option. What, what are we doing? What are we doing in America? What, why is everything completely inverted? Because it's war. It's an act of war on its own people. Why would these departments still actually have their jobs? So as far as I'm concerned, you know, anybody working or employed under the DOJ and the DOD should not have their jobs. They should realize that they are creating the very war waged on its own people and their ignorance will prove it. It has proven it in thousands of claims of people calling themselves targeted individuals who are survivors, who are also prisoners of war. Look at Brian, too. Look at Crystal Carrasco. Look at Zach Chaos, an alleged member of the Rothschild family who was essentially extradited out to America because the Queen of England wanted some of that jungle love. That's what he says in one of the videos on my playlist. So until you can actually like retrain your brain to realize these are acts of war, you're not going to treat this very seriously. All right. You have to treat this seriously. This is happening. This isn't just some made up bull crap. This isn't some fantasy tale thing for Hollywood. We're not all just going to magically show up with each other while the, the world's breaking apart. And, and, and then we just show up into some newsroom and people are like, yeah, you know, no, 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 no. You don't get an, you don't get a nice ending at that. You have to work for it, and you won't get a pretty ending for yourself. You're saving the future generations for actually combating against this. But as far as I'm concerned, you're going to be a prisoner of war, and as a result, any person that dies in part of this program is a casualty of war, as far as I'm concerned, and that's how I'm going to define it. So that's how I look at it. I, I don't see it any, any other way. I mean, acts of war, man, it's not, it's not vague. It's not gray. It's real. It, it, it's a war against American citizens by its own government. So everybody's just going to go to their jobs every day. They're going to go do their thing. They're going to go eat their food. They're going to go do your day to day. Well, as long as the money God's in charge of this planet, you're going to keep doing what you do. You know, you're going to keep being part of the cattle. You're going to keep eating your grass and shitting on the ground. And people will take that and turn it into fertilizer. So, and it's just a shame because personally, when you look around, you're, you're not the only prisoner of war. You're not the only person in this country that's a prisoner of war. 
You know, there's obviously hundreds, thousands of people in this country saying, hey, I'm being stalked by th these people and they all have these and this and that. It's like, yeah, read the writing on the wall. A lot of people are. It's an act of war. It's an act of war. It's not just because people want to indict you for being conscientious. It's because there's an order that doesn't want you to have any power. Why do you think these are the same? And, and by the way, this is the hypocrisy, too. Like they will hire anybody on board. It doesn't matter if they're part of the lodges or not. They'll hire anybody off the street. So these these Nazi skinhead people will hire black people through a third party, through gangs to harass other people because they get paid or they get paid pounds of weed to distribute, make the money back, and then they could pay more people and the government says, hey, do this, do this, do this. These people are willing to flip and they can't see past it. Like if blacks realize that this is an act of war, they would lose all minority support for every future president because they realize, oh, you guys are instigating crimes against people who are speaking out against crimes committed on minorities. Jeez. And this is the, by the way, this is the end of, of, of minority black history month or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Like, and nobody wants to take a stand. Like every single video I've made, well, not every single video, but every video I made, uh, or every week I have said something important about civil liberties, civil rights, about how targeted individuals being gang stalked are selected because they have opinions that are about civil liberties or they have a differing opinion. These are prisoners of war. Let's understand this. Th these are prisoners of war that are trying to set you free. These are people that are trying to help you before you're enslaved like it was back in the 1800s. All right. This is real. This is real shit. This is being conducted by your government, by the Department of Defense, the Department of Justice and other agencies and organizations affiliated with this. Secret societies obviously play a part, but it's not the Illuminati, okay? It's people, you have to work up. You wanna find that elite group, start working up. Start finding people that actually associate with white supremacy, that actually believe in this insane philosophy. These, this comes from age old shit, by the way, Anunnaki type shit, all right? The Aryan Arab race of people. Why do you think when you go on chat roulette or, or Tinder or, or, or whatever, whatever those apps are, why do you think it's always Indian guys licking their lips when they see white chicks? Why do you think it's always a tall, white, six foot fucking giant of a man that barely has any emotions? Hello? Because they're literally supposed to be trained to kill people. They all come from the same perverted sense of justice. And that's what pub public speaking is all about. So you can understand. But until you start seeing it as an act of war, you're going to keep thinking you're a victim and somebody's coming to save you. Nobody's coming to save you. All right. And if that happens, you're going to be dead. And you're going right up to heaven. Do the right thing while you're still in this body. You have a mission here on, on this planet do it and stop wasting your time. Doesn't mean go out and fight these people. You're never going to figure it out. You could research and try to figure out all the people that are doing this to you, but they switch it out. It's not all just people out there following you. It's satellites that'll track you from time to time. It's your cell phone picking up the things when you're a conscientious person, when you're having conversations at work. It follows you everywhere you go. There's no escaping it. It's a supercomputer. It's a super intelligent supercomputer. You're not going to beat that. But you start showing people that there's moral codes and like there's there's rights to a human being and being on this planet. They can't do it anymore. Dismantle the DOJ. Dismantle the DOD. Get rid of them. Obviously, they're not doing their jobs. Why do we spend 600 billion on DOD anyway? What are we defending? Why is that? This should be called the Department of Offense. Like, we don't even do anything with the Department of Defense. Who's fighting America anymore? There's nobody. Nobody wants to fight America anymore. It's all trade wars or Russians acting like tough guys, but haven't done anything. So we're going to do something about that. You have to have a voice or you're going to keep being a prisoner and you're going to be happy about it. And that's the reality. Sorry if it hurts, but...
that's that's the that's the reality. 